Hello to all our viewers. Hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy in these challenging times. A few days back, Škoda pulled the wraps of the all-new Fabia hatchback, one of its most popular and best-selling models. In its fourth generation, this is the biggest, most spacious, most aerodynamic, and of course, the most feature-rich iteration of the hatchback to date. So, here's a quick look at what makes the 2021 Fabia so important from an evolutionary standpoint. Since its market launch in 1999, the Fabia hatchback and the Fabia estate have been important cornerstones of the Czech car maker's success, with more than 4.5 million units now delivered worldwide. The Fabia is the second most produced Skoda model after the Octavia. For the first time, the car has been built on the VW Group's MQB AO platform. Not only does this reap benefits in terms of size and cabin space, but also in terms of the safety features that have now been incorporated into the car. Speaking of gains, the new Fabia has grown longer by 111mm, and at 4108mm, the hatchback, for the first time, has crossed the 4m length mark. The width of the car is up by 48mm and the wheelbase has gone up by an unprecedented 94mm. Thus, at 2564mm, the new Fabia's wheelbase is actually longer than the first-gen Octavia sedans. In terms of styling too, the overall design has become really mature yet new age and attractive. The car looks really appealing from the outside and there's hardly any fault in the design. Every panel seems to be perfectly gelled together. Apart from the visuals, the 2021 Fabia features some extensive aerodynamic updates as well that makes it one of the most efficient hatchbacks in the segment. For example, there are now cooling shutters in the front bumper. These actively adjustable slats shut close when there is little need of cooling and improve the aerodynamics. This helps lower CO2 emissions as well as fuel consumption. The slats open when a high level of cooling is needed. The aero optimization has also been carried over to some of the wheel designs of the new Fabia. The interior of the 2021 Fabia has also been given a major overhaul and looks more attractive yet functional than ever. A freestanding infotainment display measuring up to 9.2 inches takes center stage on the higher spec variants and the digital interface can be spruced up further with the addition of Škoda's famed virtual cockpit that is a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster, a feature that marks its debut on the Fabia. However, it is an optional extra. As standard, the Fabia comes with an analog instrument panel and a 3.5 inch information screen. The feature-rich Fabia also offers full LED lighting, LED ambient lighting, and some premium but optional features like a heated windshield, a heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, and rear AC vents. On the safety front, the 2021 Fabia will be offered in the markets with up to 9 airbags. Plus, thanks to the MQB AO architecture, advanced driver assist features like travel assist, park assist and maneuver assist mark their debut on the Fabia. For now, Škoda has confirmed that the hatchback will be powered by a range of MPI and TSI EVO petrol engines. Now, the big question. Will the 2021 Fabia come to India? Well, as of now, there are no plans on the table to bring the car to India. But having said that, Škoda has also not completely ruled out the possibility. So, if the car does come to India, we'll only get to know about it sometime next year. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, please share and don't forget to subscribe to the AutoX channel for your fill of the latest happenings in the Indian and global automotive industry. Until next time, this is me, the Vyang Bansal, signing off. Take care and stay safe.